Hi there, everyone. It's Jennifer again. I just wanted to quickly thank everyone for their comments and suggestions as to my video, and I look forward to making more videos, you know, according to what's on my mind and what I'm inspired by at the moment. Tonight I would like to talk very briefly about chapter 4 of the Quran entitled The Women, because there's a lot of misconceptions as to what kind of God the Muslims believe in, and how he has instructed men to treat women. First of all, we believe in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, just as the Christians, just as the Jews. And I'm glad I could clear that up. In terms of women, verse 19 of chapter 4 reads as follows, O ye who believe, ye are forbidden to inherit women against their will, nor should you treat them with harshness that ye may take away part of their dowry you have given them, except where they have been guilty of lewdness, that is, open lewdness. On the contrary, live with them on a footing of kindness and equity. Repeat, kindness and equity. If ye take a dislike to them, it may be that you dislike a single thing. And Allah brings about through it a great deal of good. Verse 34 reads, Men are the protectors and maintainers of women. Protectors and maintainers of women. Because Allah has given the one more strength than the other. And because they support them from their means. Okay? Verse 36, chapter 4. Serve Allah and join not any partners with Him, and do good to parents, kinsfolk, orphans, and those in need, neighbors who are of kin, neighbors who are strangers, the companion by your side, the wayfarer you may meet, in other words, someone who's been traveling for a long time and what your right hands possess, for Allah does not love the arrogant and the vain. So basically, in a few short verses, we learn that women are taken care of in Islam, and we learn that God teaches Muslims to be fair and kind to non-Muslims, as was read in the previous verse. So whatever misconceptions you may have about Muslims, please put culture away, because culture does not entwine with Islam, or it, it shouldn't, because there is no verse in my Quran, in anyone's Quran, that says that you must implement your culture in order to make the verses uh, sensible. The Quran is as hard knock as it is, it tells you straightforward how to behave as a Muslim. So I hope that there will be no blurry ideas about what Muslims believe and that the people, the idiots, who claim to be Muslim but do evil acts, I hope that people will understand that they are not Muslims and they are politicized warlords looking for their own interests. Thank you very much.